Day 12, let's go. So before I start, um, I know the fan's on, but it's been hot, so give me a break. Um, but yeah, today we're going to be talking about the more digital art side of things, because that's what I made today, and I can't, like, pick up a piece and show you. Um, I can actually bring it up on screen right now, and this is the piece that I made. Um, I wish, I wish that I would have made a time lapse for it if I was thinking about it, but what you see right here, th this, that wasn't supposed to exist um and that's actually how a lot of my pieces come to be they don't start off as full concepts they just start off as sketching sessions and i go from there and this is no different this started off as just like a quick warm-up i haven't tried do uh digital in a long time so i wanted to just experiment a little bit more uh and dive into a digital piece but then this happened so i'm like all right we're rolling with it this is going to be the daily thing even though it doesn't necessarily fit my feed as it's been going it's kind of you know full frame full border all that kind of stuff but it doesn't matter i don't think as long as i'm enjoying what i'm making you know that's kind of or that's kind of what i want to focus on now and i do apologize but my camera battery is saying camera battery low which means this is not going to be a long video whatsoever but i just wanted to talk about digital art a little bit in the its broadest sense i just re I, I posted a video that's been doing really well i think it's about to hit like 50,000 views on tiktok uh which is nuts but i was just watching that again today because i'm responding to comments every single day i respond to i respond to literally everyone or at least i try to get to i'm sure i've missed some people but <laughs> give me a break but yeah like basically every single comment that i've seen is like yeah no i do both i do digital and i do traditional and it's like it's amazing to see how many people just like do both i know like i know people do but just to see that number on my account agreeing with me that's kind of cool so if you do do digital art i want to direct this statement specifically at you <laughs> i'm sorry specifically at you and say your art is valid your art is real art and in case no one told you today it looks good <laughs> I don't give two fucks about people saying, oh, that's not real. I, I really don't. Like, the fact is, it takes just as much work to do digital as it does traditional. And it's important that you know that. If you really love digital, there's no reason why you cannot do digital. Bottom line. One of the pieces that took me the longest to make was actually digital. It was during a college class, I was taking computer art, and it was one of the first times that I've ever done digital art, and I ended up spending, uh, over the course of like the weeks that we were working on this assignment, 45 hours on one thing, on one piece. Like I've never done that before, ever. But granted, it was learning the tools that took a long fucking time. I'm still shaky on some of them. Using them to the best of their ability, learning compositing techniques, learning all, all this bullshit, right? And it's amazing the depth that you can go into digital art so if you do digital art good job keep doing it <laughs> yeah i think i'm gonna keep this video short because my battery is about to die and i have limited time to edit and get this out today before midnight which has been my deadline thank you so much to those of you who have been coming over from my tiktok and my other social media platforms and just really supporting what i do here leaving comments subscribe all that kind of stuff it means the world that like i have people that follow me across platform uh should tiktok die which doubtful again i know but can't be too safe so yeah with that being said thank you guys so much for watching this video if you want to chat with me all my links are in the description and i just hope you have a good day see you tomorrow for day 13 